Hello and welcome to Dead Cells. We beat Dracula's ass. So I'm feeling pretty good, pretty good. And we're now going to go up to Boss Stem Cell 2. Oh boy. This does mean that I will be getting um, quite a bit of um, cells. So that's going to be nice to, you know, clear out a few more unlocks. But that does also mean that we have a couple of others. We have the Richter outfit, which we've had before. Um, none of those are new. That's new. <laughs> that's new. Um, yeah, let's let's give that one a shot. Oh, boy. And what was the other one? Classic Scarecrow. Oh, man. All right. We're going to we're going to play today as a. Uh, the being that must accelerate at a um, alarming pace and uh, try for a um, try for something. What have we got here? We've got crossbow, crossbow, rapier, bow. We got, uh, you know what? I think I'm going for survival. And so we're going to go for the claws. We're going to go for rampart right there, death orb. And infantry grenade, and we're just gonna sell that. All right, let's take it. How do I get to the um? Because there's the giant still, right? I still have that DLC that I don't think I've explored anything in. So I'd be interested in seeing what the um, the giants are. I mean, there's that giant door, but I just, yeah. I think that might be the next thing that I really want to start exploring. Is the giants DLC. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, break this. Don't care about it. I want to keep the money. Take that. Wait, rats don't get uh, stunned by the doors? That's interesting. I am getting better at getting the uh, timing down for the combo. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. You know, I'm also thinking I want this. No, we're gonna take that when it's, when we are going with a red. Yeah, when we have a when we have a brutality run, um, I'll go ahead and take that to try and find some more blueprints. God damn. Now what? I'm past the time door, unfortunately. So yeah, there's no no benefit here. I don't do I want to go to the promenade? Or would we You know what? I just realized that we have um the death scythe available for pickup so we're gonna go down to the dilapidated arboretum and take that because as much i i do enjoy the claws every now and then but they're kind of a hard weapon to get used to as well so we're gonna go ahead and just uh swap those out and go ahead and start using death's scythe
well behind all of that. That's real unfortunate. Now, that's Vampire Killer. The mythical weapon of the Belmont clan. Ignores shields, deals crit damage to burning enemies. Enemies killed by this weapon burn the ground under them. I have come here to eat chicken and crucify vampires. And I'm all out of chicken. Interesting. We're not going to unlock it. But I will put stuff towards it. Uh, not going to upgrade anything here. I am going to get my usual armadillo pack. And that's right. We are... Um, we have two boss cells active. Got to remember that. All right, looking at this, we got doors on left and the right. We've got a curse item there. We got, um, okay, so what are my exits? Morass of the Banished, or I can go over to the Ramparts. I think we're going to go towards the Ramparts first, explore that area, but then go eventually go to the uh, Morass. Damn. It's been a while since I've played this area, so I'm a little trying to be a little cautious. The uh fuck me. That uh mutation with the backpack is paying off in droves right now. I will say that. Don't need the lightning bolts. Mushroom Boy's outfit. Sure. Okay, we have a Marksman's bow, which isn't really gonna... It's not interesting to me, because I don't really care about the bows. And it's a whole lot better to um, be picking up, fuck me, other things. Now, that is Anathem. Fires an indirect projectile that curses you one time and hits at least one enemy. Is that going to be better? That's not better than my, than my quick bow. So we're going to just offer that to, for some, I want to say offer to the gods, but this isn't curse of the dead gods. I don't, there are no gods here. We are... Do we kill God? Is it that kind of game where we killed God? Would Dead Cells Man even care about killing God? I don't think Dead Cells Man would care about killing God. I think he would be upset that God, you know, made fun of him or something. Because everyone makes fun of Dead Cells Billy. Alright, we still have one scroll of power and a door to go through. Alright, let's see what's in the door. Just some cells. Okay. Just absolutely insane damage. But again, sadly, it's not a great weapon for um, trying to kill bosses with. So 
So there is limited functionality when it comes to Death Scythe. Alright, now that we're done here, we can go back there. And, uh... Do I want to go to the morass, or do I want to go to the prison depths? I might go to the prison depths. Nothing I want that you know what that's that shield might be something I want. Damn it. Taking some bad damage here. Okay, that is a force shield. Is that better than my rampart? Not really. We are absolutely crushing it with the uh, amount of um, things I'm grabbing though. Alright, so I'm going to grab Root Grenade, swap out my Death Orb for that. More HP is always lovely. You know what? We're just going to go to the morass because it's incentivized. And I am trying to get a bunch of cells. Sixty-six cells. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab the vampire killer. Why not? You know? And we'll go ahead and grab Medusa's head. I think those are both primary weapons, though, unfortunately. Yeah, this is a primary weapon. Okay, and then, let me see, this, uh, you know what, I think I'm going to go for the Belmont's Whip, and then we're going to, I don't want to upgrade this because it's still very shitty, but we are going to upgrade that, and that, and that, and that, probably, yeah, wait, used way too much money there, so now, I think, I think we're going to do that. Do I want to go to the bank? The bank isn't incentivized, so we're going to skip the bank. Fuck me, I, I was doing so good on the parries. This, that guy just fucks my shit up. You know, I don't think I enjoy uh, the whip. Can't say I enjoy the whips too much. Symmetrical Lance, I do like. I do like that.
Yeah, I think this Symmetrical Lance is now my primary go-to here. Not for right now, because I need to um, kill guys with Death Sight to get my army of Suicide Bombers moving. But if I come across a, uh, a boss again, definitely using um, the Symmetrical Lance. I don't have the money to play around with that, so we're not even going to bother. Don't care about this shop. I don't even know what hit me there. I, I saw what hit me there. There's gotta be a teleporter at the end here. Yeah, there is. All right, so we're gonna go for that, um, the cursed chest first. This is the opposite way that I want that I said I wanted to go. Much easier when we've got um, a proper weapon. You know that makes me think that the uh, the Medusa's head probably would have been the better weapon to keep. I'm just getting my ass handed left and right. food. Okay. You know, as much as I like it, I don't think I want to keep Death Scythe. I think it's becoming a relatively, um, it's becoming a liability to me. But I don't want to take the Fire Blast, but I am open to a different weapon at the moment. I think a different weapon is the better route to, better path to take.
Really wish I knew what this did. Maybe I... I probably have to be wearing a certain outfit, kind of like I did with the Fractured Shrines, right? Wow. Wow. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, wow. Oh, jeez. How long is this episode? Ah, we're clear. We're close to a half hour. I think that's going to be it for the episode. Thank you guys for watching, though. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. I will see you guys back here tomorrow for another run. And uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day.